Greetings dear subscribers. One advanced feature of guide is smart guide. So, when you move any object close to the guides, it can be snapped to the guide. You don't need to zoom in 2000% just to check if the object is present right at the edge. Watch this video till the end to learn more about smart guides. Let's get started. What are smart guides? Sometimes, when we position and align the objects on page, we need to use rulers and guides to align objects accurately and most often we zoom in a lot to fix the position this is where smart guides are needed it also helps you create objects of exact same size as another object on the page keep in mind there is a big difference between ruler guides and smart guides both of them can help you align the objects on right places. However, Smart Guides auto aligns the objects. I would suggest you to watch my tutorial explaining everything about ruler guides. I have placed the card on top of this video. Now, let me show you one example. This is the page with guides with equal distance including gutters. Now, I draw this square over here. And I am making copies of this square by holding the ALT key. With these guides, I can simply drag these squares and place on each of the cell. As a result, you can judge the distance between each squares that are same throughout the page. So this whole thing was done using guides. Now, let's repeat all this without guides. I am deleting all these guides from here by going to view, grids and guides, delete all guides from the spread. Now, make sure smart guides are turned on. Otherwise, this function won't work. Go to View, Grids and Guides and click on Smart Guides. The shortcut key is Ctrl U if you are Windows user or Command U if you are Mac user. This means you have turned on the Smart Guides. Now, I draw the same square over here And I'm holding shift key and making first copy of this square. Now, note these box and arrows that are appearing near the cursor as I'm making the copies. This is the smart dimension indicator. This shows that the other object that you are drawing is exactly the same size as the first object. This is not just limited to size. It also determines even spacing with the other objects on the page. This is called Smart Spacing Feature. This makes it easy to evenly distribute the objects so that the spaces between them are equal. When moving objects on the page, the box next to the cursor indicates X and Y coordinates. These coordinates let you know which object needs to be placed on which point of the page. If you cannot see these parameters on the screen, you can go to Window and choose Control. Shortcut key is Control Alt 6 for Windows user or Command Option 6 for Mac users. 
Now, I am drawing a square of the same size over here, but in different color on the middle of this page. And see, their x and y coordinates right now. Now, check the x and y coordinates of the first square. Note down these x and y coordinates, 2 inch and 2 inch. Select the new square and type x and y coordinates of 2 inch and 2 inch over here. Press enter. Now, see. This square has been placed to the similar place as the first square. I will explain more about x and y coordinates in separate tutorial. If you don't want the guides, you can turn them off anytime. Just go back to view, grids and guides and click smart guides again. You have turned off the smart guides. The shortcut key is Ctrl U or Command U. Press it once again. Smart guides are back. Press it one more time, smart guides are gone. Note that if you don't want these smart guides in pink color, you can change the color by simply going to Edit, Preferences, and then Guides and Pasteboard. From here, choose your desired color for smart guides. I hope this tutorial gave you useful information regarding smart guides and you will be ready for your next project. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I would be glad to reply you. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.